Hello, Paul Madden at the Yacht Channel, and today I'm doing a review of a uh, new Benetti. I've been reading about this boat for a while. It's called Luminosity. Uh, they launched it last year. I saw it in the shed being built in Livorno a couple of years ago. It looked like a nice haul. And um, <clears throat> the reason I'm doing a review is uh, it has been touted as being uh, a hybrid yacht and having all kinds of um, unique features that uh, make it eco-friendly and uh, um, different, maybe superior to other yachts. It has a couple of features that I'm still trying to uh, get my arms around. One is a decorative uh, 18 meter high interactive LED video wall that runs down five decks on a stairwell and uh, it changes from day or night. Very nice. It features a flower motion wall with uh, 264 flowers that will open and close as somebody walks by. It sort of reminds me of Hogwarts. And there's also a spinning settee which I uh, I can't comment on because I don't quite understand it. What I want to do is uh, dive into the specs and the GA and really examine uh, what this vessel is all about. It was built at Benetti, the largest yacht builder in the world. Um, they definitely know what they're doing there. Um, they decided a couple of years ago that they would get into the large yacht game and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with Ocean Co. and Lursen and they've launched uh, two vessels over 100 meters now. I don't know what they have in the works, but probably more. Looking at the specs, the first thing that uh, caught my attention is how many designers are attributed to this vessel. It uh, starts to look like a Hollywood movie here. Four or five designers, um, it, it, it's very unusual. Usually you don't see more than an interior or an exterior designer. And uh, that may explain some of the odd things that I found uh, looking into the vessel. In terms of the main characteristics of the vessel, uh, I've mentioned it's 107 meters, that's 353 feet. It's got a healthy beam of 55 feet, 17 meters, but it, it's not overly beamy like some of these boats. The maximum draft is 14 feet, which is pretty good, four and a half meters. She cruises at a top speed of 16 knots with half a load. She's got an 8,000 nautical mile range at 10 knots and uh, half the hotel load. And that's very healthy. That uh, puts her into the expedition category, certainly. Um, there is an entire owner's deck, and then there are 11 uh, staterooms. So it will take up to a total of 27 guests. In terms of crew, there are uh, accommodations on board for 37 crew, so that uh, gives you an indicator of what it needs, what you need to run the boat. So let's get right into what is uh, unique about this vessel and makes it stand out. It's got all the usual trimmings uh, of a mega yacht, so it's got a hospital, helipad, beach club, giant beach club. Um, it's got just a ton of uh, water toys. It's also got a passenger van and uh, an SUV car and a 24-foot Melgis uh, sailboat up on the top deck. And it's got the helipad with the refueling and the fire protection and all that. So it not only does it have a diesel electric propulsion system, but it's got a battery system that uh, they claim is the largest one found on any yacht today. So this allows the vessel to operate silently under battery power for up to 12 hours without using any generators. Um, and this will become important in some environmentally protected areas, uh, like up in the fjords and in the ice and different places. So this allows the vessel to be called a hybrid, which is uh, a highly touted uh, moniker on yachts. But I, frankly, I just, I don't get it because here they are, they're using their batteries uh, for six or 12 hours to go in and out of a fjord or an ice flow. Um, and then when they get out, they're going to have to fire up the generators and recharge those batteries. So, you know, what is the net uh, benefit to the environment uh, other than the uh, a little uh, noise and vibration uh, protection for the penguins and the uh, narwhals? But um, I, in the comments, uh, I hope somebody could uh, tell us why this is uh, some sort of a breakthrough environmentally. Another capability being touted is the heat recovery system that takes heat from the diesel generators and uses it to heat other systems on board, such as a swimming pool. I'm not sure why this is uh, touted because this is uh, not a new idea. 
And um, again, I see very little net benefit uh, to the environment in doing this. Vessel has got uh, floor to ceiling windows, and those are uh, in some spaces, you've got nine feet of headroom. 811 square meters or 8,800 square feet worth of uh, very high strength glass. The glass weighs 120 tons. The windows are all fire rated. These boats spend a lot of time in a marina. And when you're in a marina, it would be like being in a uh, housing development where your neighbor's house is uh, 20 or 30 feet away. And I'm not sure that you want uh, every room in the house to have these big glass windows, including the bedrooms. Um, I, hopefully the bathrooms are not open to these glass windows, but um, perhaps they are. In any case, uh, that, that's, that's one point is that uh, while you can see out, everybody else can see in and talk about living in a fishbowl. Uh, you see it there. So that, that's one thing that, that uh, I found a bit odd in this vessel. Um, a little bit of big glass is great, but to, to set up something that looks like an office block, I, I just, I just, uh, I don't know. But I'm sure in the comments, somebody could explain to me um, the benefits of that. Other thing about having that much glass is that when you're in a tropical environment, you're basically, you, you've got a solar heating thing that's starting. So unless you have big shades or some other way of, uh, tinting or reflecting off of this glass, you're basically going to be superheating the interior of the vessel. And this speaks to the uh, environmental considerations. You're going to have to have a lot more air conditioning and it's going to be working very hard. So that's going to put your six big Caterpillar diesel generators to work, doing something that uh, probably not so great for the environment. But um, that's my thought on the glass. The other aspect of this boat that I, that caught my attention uh, is the amount of teak that they used. And they've got teak everywhere, including it looks like in the tender garage um, and also on the foredeck. So th these are places that guests don't normally hang out. And I don't, not sure that I see the reason to have uh, th this teak all the way up on the bow. In summary, Luminosity certainly is state-of-the-art in many respects. It's built by a uh, very credible builder and uh, the designers are accomplished. I've injected some of my own thoughts and uh, critiques of this vessel in the hopes that it will uh, bring some interesting comments and some contributions from our subscribers who may also have uh, insightful thoughts about this vessel and about in general what the large yacht industry is doing in, in this area of uh, hybrid and uh, trying to become more environmentally friendly so um, if you would like to uh, see more of these reports please subscribe and by all means comment and i'll put some links in uh, the details below uh, so you can check it out see you next time